Do you want to win? Do you want to improve? Then watch this video because I'll be explaining his skills, skills upgrade, itemization, tips and tricks, and combo. Disclaimer, all the information that I'll be providing is based all on my research and experience throughout all my mythical glory games. So at this point, I will let my friend Sophia do the talking since she is much better in English. Without any further ado, let's start. Nathan is a new hero with a hybrid abilities. All HIS abilities extra magic damage. The basic attack of Nathan is like a boomerang, damaging enemies with physical damage, plus 30% magic damage. With HIS passive quirks, he convert 100% of physical lifesteal and penetration into magic lifesteal and penetration. This passive is very OP in terms of the itemization of the enemy. They will have a hard time thinking which item build to use to counter him especially tanks. As for HIS first skill, Nathan will shoot an energy. This skill will pierce the enemies until its last destination. It will deal physical damage with the extra magic damage. With this skill you can activate HIS passive and full stack faster. As you can see after hitting the three enemies with my first skill, my passive count is three. The good thing is that you can stack passive at minions also. If you can manage to hit 6 targets with HIS skill then your passive count is maxed. HIS other passive ability is that every stack he gets ish gains 15% attack speed and 7.5% movement speed for 5 seconds. Tip! Use this skill to harass your enemy in lane, since it has low CDR. As for HIS second skill, he will throw a gravational ball he will get knockback after hitting them. And also the edge of this skill is very OP. After reaching the end of the skill, it will knock back them again. This skill can stack your passive, just like how your first skill do. Tips. Use this ability to stop the combo of your enemies. As for HIS ultimate, Nathan will summon a copy of him. If you walk to right, your copy will walk left. You can use this to evade some skill shots and use this to a better positioning. Just press your ultimate again. If you want to use its dashing abilities. As for the other quirks of HIS ultimate, HIS copy can also use skills. The skill shot of your copy will start at the end. All HIS first and second skill can be used by the copy. As you can see in the screen, my camera view becomes wider, just like when Layla gets our ultimate, but Nathan will only have this camera view when he uses HIS ultimate. The other quirk of HIS ultimate is that HIS copy can basic attack in very far area. Does HIS copy will disappear if their distance is too far? The answer is yes. You can check this like yellow thread will turn into red. It indicates that your distance is too far, and then the thread will break. As for HIS combo, they're just too basic. Second skill plus first skill plus basic attack. The second combo is ultimate plus second skill plus first skill plus basic attack. You can also add some dashes as you basic attack to position better. As for the skill upgrade, max your first skill first. Since first skill has more damage and less CDR. As for your battle spell, if you're playing side lane Nathan, your choice is Flicker, Purify, Aegis. Use this three spells depends on the enemy. And if you're playing jungle, use Retribution and use Theus Retribution Blessing. As for the emblem, use Marksman Emblem if you're playing gold lane. Pick the third emblem since the movement speed and lifestyle of this emblem is very useful for Nathan's passive. Pick Assassin's Emblem on Nathan if you're playing core or jungle. The basic attributes of Assassin's Emblem will help Natanto rotate faster. This is the build for the gold lane Nathan.
Demon shoes for the mana. Hunter strike since Nathan always spam HIS first skill, and the movement speed and penetration will be good for HIS passive. Demon Hunter will be good for Nathan because of his passive extra attack speed and ultimate. Basaka Fury will be your main damage item. You can change Wind of Nature if there is no threat on physical damage. And Immortality for the long game. Deaths on long game are very crucial. This is the item build for Core Nathan. For me Core should be a burst hero to eliminate a hero faster and can rotate faster. Arcane boots for HIS passive and HIS extra magic damage. Hunter strike as I explained earlier. I choose endless battle because later on I will build blade of despair and endless battle will give an extra mana regeneration which Nathan's lack. Blade of despair will be your main damage item. As I stated earlier you can change wind of nature. Depends on the situation. Immortality just as i stated earlier okay guys that's all the information that i can provide i hope you enjoy the video and learn something from it if you have some questions please comment down below so we can discuss it if you did like the video please consider clicking the like button and please support my channel by subscribing and watching my other videos and goodbye